so as you can tell, same shirt, same whatever. Um, I will be filming a super extra things you can do to your skin routine that will make your face clear. Like, free from pimples and whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna go in order from like day to night. Um, everything that I show you guys in this video, you do not have to use whatsoever. Um, this is an excessive amount of product. This is not what I use on an everyday basis. I will switch out things here and there depending on um, what kind of a day it is and what my skin needs. However, if I was to use every single product in one day, this is like the order in which I would use them. So starting off my morning, I will typically go in every single day with the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Facial Cleanser. This is oil free. Um, I do actually don't know if this is the best for dry skin because I find that in some very, very cold, chilly mornings, um, this kind of contributes to like the dryness, which isn't that good for dry skin people like me. But I really, really love this cleanser and it really just wakes you up in the morning. And so I've learned to live past it by just moisturizing on a regular day basis. When I come back home from school, if I had been wearing makeup that day and it's time to take off, take off all of that dirt and grime, I like to go in with these two products. This is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. Now, obviously, I'm not going to use both of these on the same day because that's hella excessive and a little too much oil. The second thing is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Now, I'm sorry, I just went like back and forth, but I'm going to talk about this first. This, you do have to shake up. This is a micellar cleansing water, which means it is oil or oil and water because oil and water separate and oil comes first. Um, and it removes all your makeup. You do have to use like a cotton pad with this. I actually use my regular um, makeup cleanser, makeup remover, cleansing towels from Neutrogena. This is the only kind that I use because I find that these work the best for me. Um, I take a little bit on this, especially near um, my eyes, just because I do wear very, very waterproof mascara at times, and sometimes the Neutrogena one will not get it off. Also, sometimes my eyeliner is the MAC one that I talked about in the other video where I look exactly like this, and that eyeliner does not come off with just this product here. So I do have to go in with this sometimes to just really get all of that dirt and grime off. I also really like to use the micellar cleansing water, not just to remove makeup, but also just to cleanse anything that's left on my face that could be left from not erasing my makeup properly or just like in the morning when I just need it to like before the, yeah. It just makes your face clean. Now this one, this is a miracle worker. This, oh, it's kind of dirty because I kind of used it yesterday. Um, this I've been using a little more often nowadays just because um, it's not as harsh as the my, clen my, my cleanser, my cellar cleansing water. This is a literal balm. Some people don't realize that this is like a lip balm kind of a feel. But either way, this also does a great job at removing your um, eye makeup, even waterproof ones, and the eyeliner. I just talked about removing makeup, didn't I? And I forgot to talk about putting on makeup. Well, I'm gonna backtrack just a little bit. I am so sorry. But I just have two products that I wanna, that I wanna talk about. This first thing is the Mario Badescu Skincare Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. You guys know so many people love this and so do I. This Mario Badescu Spray, I want to say is not priming. It's not priming for sure. It's not like a priming spray by any means. But it just gives your face just like the perfect va perfect vase, perfect base to put on any primer or like even your foundation if you want to skip primer. The next thing is the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir 24K Gold Infused Beauty Oil. This is that super so cool stuff that you see like Instagrammers using all the time with like the gold flex. This is not the purple unicorn essence as I said. This is just for your skin. Um, the 
Unicorn Essence actually primes your face, so if you want to get like a two-in-one product, I guess you can go for that. This is the smaller version, the $20 version, because I did not want to spend $54 on oil. So it's on very special days. I will use my Glam Glow. I will use the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment Mask, and this stuff is amazing. I love anything Glam Glow, like their skin stuff is the shiz for me. I just see a very big difference with every product that I use. This is a thing that I refuse to refrigerate because it's so effing big. This is the Nature Republic Breathing Vegetable Pack or Fresh Vegetable Pack as the English translated. It smells like candy and it's like that like weird jelly thingy. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? I don't want it to fall. Can you see it? Yes. Um, it's like... Can you like... It's putty. Um, anyway, yes. This is a pack, which means it's just like a mask for your face. Um, it feels great. It kind of moisturizes your face. Nature Republic is a Korean skincare brand, and so I doubt anything they do can be bad for your face, honestly, because, like, the Koreans have it down with the skincare, and that is amazing. So this I will put on, wait, and then I'll wash it off. Same as that. And if you guys didn't know, you're supposed to mask and then cleanse off. So to cleanse my face and to kind of exfoliate the dead skin off, I will use the St. Ives Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub and this deeply exfoliates to reveal smooth skin. This is the apricot one. As I said, I really like the oatmeal one and the, um, what is it called? Grapefruit one, I believe it's called. Moisturize now that I've cleansed and the first either one thing that I go on to use the first thing is not even like a real moisturizer it's a soothing gel from Nature Republic and it is made 92% by aloe vera this is kind of also very satisfying to look at but this is a lot more watery because of the aloe vera and its moisturizing properties so Yes, I really, really like this. This does give a lot of moisture. However, it does dry really, really fast. And so I do use quite a lot of it at once. Um, if I feel like I just need like a deeper, more sustained moisture, then I will go in with the Belief, the True Cream Aqua Balm. I am like completely done with this now. And I've decided to go back to the moisturizers that I used previous to this. The next little thing that I have here, this is a mini size of the Tarte Maracuja C Brightener Eye Treatment. I have not tried many eye or under eye treatment things and so I do not know the standard and expectation that I should have for them. This just moisturizes it, it brightens. I really, really like it. I would not recommend to you wear this like outside it's more of like a night thing in my opinion just because it's kind of shiny look who's joined us <laughs> well while he sits right here you guys probably can't see him next i have the am i missing something yeah so i'll either finish off with the Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Treatment Lotion Mist. Quite a handful. This I really like to use a lot of just because it is at night and this is actually an energy boosting thing. So I just use it for the moisture obviously. If I am not using this and or if I have a lot of like pimples that I would like to remove, then I will go in with the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion. This is quite small. All right, so. As I was saying, this is quite small. You're not supposed to shake it. I don't know if you guys can tell, but you can see right here that there is a liquid side and like a sediment, not sediment. What am I saying? Like a more uh, powdery side on the bottom. Do not shake this because I heard that it like cancels out whatever it's supposed to do for you. 
Um, what you do is take a Q-tip and you stick it in all the way at the bottom. You pull it back out and you put it onto your most problem area. So right now that's like here-ish for me where I have visible pimples and things that are like not flat within my skin like popping out. Um, anything like that you just put a little bit of uh, it, the solution like on it and it'll zap it out in like two to three days which I found two to three days. I don't think it's immediate because that would be a miracle and they should sell it for like way more than it's priced at. I believe this is like $16 or something like that. That would usually be like the end of my skin routine kind of a thing. I do really like um, lip balm to finish off every single night um, just because, you know, moisturize those lips. But besides that, that is everything that I ever usually use on my face, like all in one video, which is kind of weird. I know it's super extra and you do not have to do this. Like some days I wash my face with soap and that is it, which is I think kind of bad for you. But either way, like you do not have to be this extra. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below any video recommendations you might have and suggestions that you might have um, because I would love to hear them and make sure to subscribe down below and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!